Hi and welcome to this mum and baby yoga class with me, Heather DeVille and my little bubba, who's not real. <laughs> Anywho, let's get started. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, bring your awareness to your posture. Hopefully Bubba's happy lying down on the blanket in front of you. I've got a raffle to hand just to keep them as tingly as necessary. Oh, bring your hands to your heart, take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's just do a few shoulder rolls, so inhaling the shoulders up, exhaling all of them back and down, inhaling up. Exhaling back and down once more, inhaling up, exhaling back and down. Now just let your right ear drop over to your right shoulder. Take an inhale here as you exhale, let your chin roll down to the front and let your head come right over to the opposite side, so left ear to left shoulder. Inhale here and exhale, release that down and round again. Inhaling and exhale exhaling to roll, inhaling and exhaling, rolling through the legs a few times, bringing your head back up to centre, we're going to take the arms out nice and wide, reaching up towards the ceiling, opening through the fingers and exhaling down, talking to your bubbles all the time, huh? right? <laughs> inhaling up and exhaling down, one more, inhaling up, you can always twinkle your fingers, I've got this quite like that, exhale down, this time we're going to inhale the arms up, then we're going to come into a twist, we're going to inhale up, bring your right hand down towards the left knee, left hand behind, use the left hand to keep yourself nice and upright, take an inhale, as you exhale, twist to look over that left shoulder, maybe bringing your belly button towards your spine, engaging your pelvic floor muscles here, which are key, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Inhale the arms back up to centre and exhale the opposite way. Nice and tall. Inhaling up, exhaling to twist. Inhaling the arms back up to centre, exhaling and bringing them down. We're just going to do a few pelvic floor exercises here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an inhale and then an exhale. We're going to take an inhale again, and then we're going to contract and release the pelvic floor muscle quite quickly. So we're looking to do it about 30 times. If you want, you can take an inhale and puff out with the mouth. just contract those pelvic floor muscles so we're thinking about squeezing them in and up it's a really big muscle running all the way from the front to the back and side to side so we're thinking about stopping ourselves from having a wee or a pop and releasing we're going to take an inhale now and then as we exhale we're going to squeeze them for the whole exhalation inhaling to release exhaling to squeeze inhale release Exhale, squeeze. Twice more. Inhaling to release. Exhaling to squeeze. Squeezing as hard as you can. Inhaling to release. And exhaling to squeeze. Very nice. From here, we're going to come over onto our hands and knees, which they would rattle. And if you want any extra padding under your knees, feel free to grab your blanket and place it under your knees. And if you have any wrist issues and you find it hard, I've currently got problems with my right wrist, you can always come onto um, a fist or onto your fingertips, or maybe just get this section that really doesn't feel nice. So we're gonna come over Bubba. Bring you a nice tabletop position. So tops of the feet flat on the mat, our wrists under shoulders, knees hip width apart. We're gonna take an inhale, let the belly drop, tilt the sit bones, look up. As we exhale, we're going to round through the spine, chin to chest, belly button towards the spine. Inhaling up and open. Exhaling, round through. 
Continue going with this motion, inhaling. As you exhale, your bubble might like it if you just blow down your nose. Inhaling, open, exhaling. Oh, I almost lost. That was unexpected. Inhaling, open, exhaling. Once more. Inhaling, open, and exhaling. Two around, press them down to the tops of your toes now. Very nice. Just bringing your big toes to touch, taking your knees nice and wide, and seeing your hips back towards your heel. Now here, you're gonna to have to adjust yourself or Bubba, because I've got a little very easy fake, uh, easy to move baby, I'm gonna bring Bubba towards me. Mm. I'm gonna extend my arms, so coming down into child's pose. If your hips and um, heels don't touch, if you've got another blanket or a cushion, you can always pop, or a block, pop that between there just to get that connection. That will help the muscles release rather than hanging midpoint. And we're gonna have the arms extending away from the heel on the mat, really reaching, shoulder blades meeting back down. We're gonna take an inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna do an om sound onto our bubba, so an om. Inhaling deep, exhaling om. Onto bubba's belly, inhaling deep, exhaling om. some hip circles so just starting nice and small bringing your hips up towards the right as you inhale and as you exhale coming back towards the left and as we do this we're going to sing a little song to keep our bubbles entertained we're going to go round and round the garden like a teddy bear one step two step tickle you under there giving bubbles a little tickle we're gonna come up the other way. So inhaling up towards the left, exhaling down towards the right. And again, we're gonna to start to sing round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. Obviously, in a mum baby years plus, you're allowed to kiss your bubba as much as you like at any point. It's beyond acceptable. So. From here, we're gonna come back up onto our hands and knees and just do a little strengthening work. So, we're gonna bring our belly buttons towards our spine. Think nice and long through the crown of the head, always thinking about our posture here. I'm gonna be on my right wrist again. We're gonna take the right toes back and tuck them under, just sending them away. Just stretching down the back of the right leg. That might be enough for you today. If you want to, you can inhale, lift that right foot up. Thinking about lifting from the inner thigh and exhale it back down. We're gonna swap sides. Tucking the left toes under, inhaling, lifting them up, flexing through the back foot, exhaling them back down. Now if you want to add in another level, as you take the right foot back, we let float the left fingertips forwards and then bring them back down. Swapping sides, left foot, right arm. Coming down. And again, you can just be here with the legs or you can be floating the arms if that feels okay depending on how far you are and how strong you're feeling today will depend on which version you'd like to stick with. As my right wrist is giving me a bit of trouble at the moment, I'm gonna float it forwards and enjoy that, but I'm not gonna do it on the other side. One more to either side. And as you bring your hands back, if you want, always you can give Bubba a little tickle. And the opposite side. And tickety tickety, very nice. Just sitting back up onto your heels, just give your wrists a little bit of a circle. And just taking one arm back and the opposite arm back. Just placing them on your lower back down here. We just inhale, exhale, bring the elbows towards one another, look up. Really opening through the chest. From here, we're gonna come up to standing. So we're gonna come back up onto all fours. We're gonna tuck our toes under and lift our hips high. We're gonna do a squatting dog to start with. So you can have your hair hanging down so Bubba can grab it. Obviously this comes with a warning, they might grab it, you might need to come back down and uh, disentangle yourself from them, but sometimes it just keeps them entertained. 
And then start walking one heel at a time down towards the mat. Chest is sinking towards the thighs, looping back between your feet. And then when you're ready, we're just going to inhale both heels nice and high and exhale, send them down towards the ground for a breath. Then softening through the knees, bending the knees, walking the hands back towards the feet. We're going to take a nice, easy ragdoll pose here. So taking a hold of the opposite elbow with the opposite hand and just swaying from side to side. Maybe gently shaking and nodding the head here as well. Letting the weight of the head go. Oh. I swear, if there's one thing you should do every day, it is this. Little cheeky ragdoll. Nice and soft through the knees. And pressing down through the feet, releasing the arms to roll yourself up to standing. When you get there, taking the arms out nice and wide. And exhaling them back down to your heart. Very nice. So, from here, we're going to do a little bit of... Um, strengthening work. So we're going to come into warrior two. We're going to step the right foot forwards. Keep the left foot back. Right toes are pointing forwards. Left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. We're bending into the front knee. The knee, we don't want it to come forward of the ankle. So just check your position on that knee. Also, it might be tempted to come in. So just keep it out. We want to engage the legs. So you could just hang out here. But if you give them the impetus of trying to move away from one another on the mat, ping, you can feel them working. Belly button towards spine. Inhaling the arms up to centre. Now I like to stay nice and soft here, so we're just going to do a little turning the palm up and down. And just reaching with that. There we go. Just softening and reaching, softening and reaching. And from here, we're going to pause. We're going to take the right forearm, bring it down to the right thigh, and bring the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. You can be looking wherever you want, down at Baba, up at the hand, Ever's working for you, pressing down through that forearm so you don't collapse all around, but you're staying nice and strong and open. From here, we're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to reach towards the front of the mat, and then we're going to sweep our hands all the way down by the knee. You can do twinkles, or if they're starting to get a little bit agitated, they're not that happy, it's a good time to grab your rattle. Add that into the mix. Inhaling it up. Exhaling it down, and one more, we're going to inhale up, exhale down. Now this time we're going to turn to face our bodies, I'm going to place my rattle back down. I'm going to bring my left hand down to the mat, turn my back foot in, lower my back knee. Now I'm going to bring my hands up to my heart, and I find myself in a nice foot position. So I'm going to step this foot forward, so that I've got room to lunge into this right leg. I'm going to bring my hands to my heart, inhale them up. Interlace the thumbs together, so bringing them together like that. As we exhale, we lean forward, we sweep down, and we sweep all the way down Baba. Now, as we come back, we flex through the right foot. Inhale, bringing the energy up. Exhale, sweeping forwards and down. Inhaling up. Exhaling forwards and down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Flexing through that right foot, we're going to hold that flex. You can just rest the hands here or have them on the hips, wherever you like. Bringing the right toes up towards the face. Try to keep the hips nice and level, so maybe moving your heel away. And releasing that back down. Placing the hands down on the mat and moving this right knee back to join the left one. From here, we're going to do a few dips. We're going to walk our knees back ever so slightly, so we're coming into more of a low plank position. So you can come into plank and then drop the knees if you want to. Now, obviously, if you don't have the arm strength for this one, do not do it. I'm going to move my bubble back up a little bit. But if you do, that's great. So we're keeping the elbows tucked into the side of the body. We're going to inhale as we come down. Give Baba a kiss. Exhale to come back up. Inhale down. Kiss. Exhale up. Four more if you can. Three is great if you can do three. Two more. Four more. And sitting back up onto your knees. Just taking the arms back again. One, two. Oh, just giving my shoulders a lovely roll. Very nice. Coming back up onto all fours. Tucking the toes under. Keeping the knees bent to start with. Walking those heels down towards the mat one at a time. Giving the head a little shake. 
bending through the knees, walking the hands back towards the feet to come into a nice rag doll take a nice shake and a nod from side to side here having a little bob let go of the weight of your head and inhaling pressing down through the heels as we roll slowly up through the spine taking those arms up and down inhaling them up and exhaling them back down just to open those shoulder blades again. So we're going to step forward with the opposite leg. So left foot forward, right foot back. Bending into that left knee. Knee over ankle. We don't want it to come forward from that. And again, it's coming in like this, just encouraging it to open. Back foot, inner arch of the back foot is lined up with the front heel. And we're going to inhale those arms up to centre. And we're going to soften. So we're going to just do a nice... Soften and reach, turning the palms up towards the ceiling and then really reaching through the fingertips. There we go. One more. Oh, and another because it feels nice. <laughs> and then we're going to bring the left forearm down onto the left thigh, thigh, right fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling this time. Nice and strong here, belly button towards spine, feeling those legs trying to move away from each other on the mat and then bringing that arm up and over the head and either twinkling your fingers down Baba, or maybe if they're starting to get a little fidgety, maybe grabbing your apple, and shaking them. Okay. And holding the arm up, and holding it down. One more, and holding it up, and holding it down, turning to face your Baba. Bring the back knee back down onto the floor, and we find ourselves, we ourselves up on this knee we find ourselves in our nice lunge position so maybe walking that left foot forward remember that if any point you're in a pose and it doesn't quite feel right just adjust we're all built differently so make it comfortable and safe for you bringing your hands to your heart inhaling the arms up interlacing the thumbs and as we exhale lunging into that front leg and sweeping our hands all down baba bringing the left toes back up as we scoop that energy back up as we inhale and exhale Exhale, release. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One more. Inhaling up, exhaling down. This time holding the flex through the left foot. Just maybe if you need to, sending that left heel a little bit further away. Oh, keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed, flexing through that foot, and then bringing the foot forward, placing the hands down, and bringing this leg back. We're going to do some swooping cats here, so we're going to do kisses all the way up Baba, so taking your knees back a little bit, sink your hips back towards your heels, forearms coming down onto the mat. We come forward and kissing. We get to the top of the mat, round through the spine, chin to chest, barely button towards spine. If you need to adjust, please do so. Rounding through twice more. Sweeping forwards. Exhaling, rounding through that spine, chin to chest. One more. And rounding through. Oh. Very nice. So we're going to come to a little bit of yoga for Bubba. So with our Bubba's, it's always very, very gentle yoga. We don't ever force any movements at all. We are always working with their natural resistance. And um, the younger they are, the more they might resist. And then they might start resisting as they get a bit older as well too. So just always re being really mindful of that. Um, and don't do anything they don't like. And it's all very gentle and very simple. So we're going to start just by bringing our legs either side of Bubba's flexing through the feet and we're going to inhale the arms up we're going to exhale fold forwards and twinkle our fingers down or give them nice little gentle squeezes nice little rub down the body whichever they prefer and we're going to sing twinkle twinkle little star as we do this twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! 
Now I'm a real cross leg kind of gal, so I'm gonna bring my legs back to being crossed, but you can keep them however you are comfortable. We're gonna do a little song called Open and Close. So we're gonna take Baba's hands, they usually will hold really nicely onto your thumbs. So you're taking them nice and gently, just adding a little bit of gentle movement there. And the action we're gonna do, we're gonna open the arms and then cross them, close them across the body, open and cross. And we're gonna sing, open and close and open and close and give yourself a cuddle. Open and close and open and close and don't get in a muddle. that one more time. Open and close and open and close and give yourself a cuddle. Open and close and open and close and don't get in a muddle. Next thing we're going to do is the Grand Old Duke of York. So this one can be good for colic and constipation. You'll notice that babies naturally will pull their knees up into their chest when they're trying to poop. Um, so we're just encouraging that, that action, which is great. So we take both feet and just let them gently rest in your hands and the heel, so the heel's resting, just holding gently down the sides of the legs. And we're going to walk one knee in towards the tummy at a time. Again, always working with their natural resistance. When, we, when the Duke of York goes up, we do both legs. When it goes down, we do both legs. We start one and then we go together. So it goes, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. So together, and when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yeah! You can clap their feet together, the soles of their feet together, because they've got such lovely flexibility. And then we're going to do that one again, starting with the opposite leg. So if you're right-handed, you probably started with your right, with their right knee, with your right hand going first. <laughs> so this time, left and vice versa. The grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again, both together. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Oh, so now, <laughs> shouldn't really be getting this Ari over a pretend baby. I really will. Um, we're going to pick our bubbers up, so I'm going to take my hand under the arm and bring them to rest on my lap. I'm going to turn to face you, bro, just so your bubbers can look at my bubber too. So, presuming that your bubbers got good head control, um, they should be absolutely fine here, resting against your body. Obviously, if this isn't the position that's going to work for them, then keep them lying on the mat and do exactly the same motion with the arms. So, we're going to do wind the bobbin up. We're going to go wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. Point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Yay! And we're going to do that one again. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. Point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Yay! Lovely stuff. So from here, we're gonna come up to standing with our bubbers. So obviously, the older your bubba is, 
the harder work this is because they get heavier. So I'm going to show you different variations for each pose. So stick with, with blah, 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 blah. stick with whichever variation feels good for you. And again, if they haven't got really good head control yet, then just be really mindful of that. And if they're happy down on the mat, then you can leave them there. Otherwise, obviously, just always being really careful. So I'm going to come up onto my knees, onto all fours, but onto my knees even. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm holding my bubble under both both arms at the moment. I'm going to step the right foot forwards and I'm going to rest my bubble here on my right thigh, leaning against the right side of my body. I'm then going to take my right hand across their body and hold under the opposite arm. Obviously, I'm trusting that you all know how to hold your baby safely, which I'm sure you do. So I'm just giving you an option of you're like, what? What do I do? My hand, my leg, my what? This works. So we're just in a low uh, lunge position. I'm going to do some pelvic floor exercises here. I'm going to sing Hickory Dickory Dock, and you're going to contract and release your pelvic floor muscles. So let's just contract and release them a few times first. Get that strange pelvic floor contraction look on your face. I'm going to sing the song to keep the bubbles entertained whilst you contract and release, contract and release. We'll start just taking an inhale and an exhale. And then we're going to inhale and I'm going to start to sing and you're going to start your contractions. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh yeah, that tick tock's in there just for fun. We're going to do that one more time. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Fab. From here we're going to come up to standing, so if you feel comfortable to do so, we're going to tuck the back toes under and we're going to sort of push ourselves back up off of that back foot to standing. So pushing yourself up and coming up to standing, very nice. You might want to pop your blanket to the side at this point. You might want to lose both blankets actually, it's entirely up to you. Um, so I'm going to turn to face you guys. We're going to start with a balance pose. We're going to start with tree pose. I'm going to bring my other hand underneath my bubble, so I've got double support here. So you can bring your feet together, but if that's not comfortable, don't worry about it. Just have your feet at a nice comfortable distance for you. Lifting and spreading your toes on the mat. Just taking a moment here to notice if you hold the weight in one particular part of your foot and maybe trying to get that nice and balanced again. Then we're gonna start by turning the right toes out and just resting them against um, the left leg. So I'm gonna mirror you here. And just lifting up through that left leg. You can keep them here if this feels good for you, or you can bring the foot up onto the calf. Trying to bring your focus back to some nice deep breathing. And obviously the more wiggly your bubba, the harder this is. I've got a very easy bubba to work with at the moment, so I'm pressing my foot and calf into one another. The only place the foot mustn't come up to is on, onto the uh, knee joint because it won't like it. Careful more breaths here. And bringing the knee forward and bringing it down. Nice, just soften from side to side and we're gonna swap sides. So lifting and spreading the toes on the mat again. This time we're gonna bring the weight into the right leg and turn the left toes out. Standing up nice and tall, thinking about squeezing this glute. Up and in, bringing the foot up onto the calf if that feels good. If it doesn't, keep it down on the floor. Find a point to stare at that isn't moving. Probably not me. Bringing the knee forward and bringing it down. Very nice. Now we're just going to take our feet about mat width apart actually, so turning them out, if you have a mat, about mat width apart, um, so that the toes are pointing out to a sort of 45 degree angle. And if you want to and you have a block, you can always grab your block and place it under your heels for this one as well, or a cushion um, if you find that when you come down, but uh, you, know, you can if you want to. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to take a hold of my bubble under both arms, I'm changing my hold, my feet are pointing out to 45 degrees, we're going to squat. 
So we're actually going to inhale as we come down and exhale as we come back up. Inhaling down, exhaling back up. The reason I'm changing the breath from a normal yogic breath is because this really helps engage your core and your pelvic floor, which we obviously want to do postnatally. So if you want to add in an extra element, you can lift your baby up and down. And then sinking your hips down. This is obviously a lot harder, so if you're doing this with a nine month old rather than a doll, you'll be finding it a lot more challenging than I. If you haven't done many squats ever or since having your baby, then maybe stop about now. Otherwise, we'll do four more. So in Pilates, they have a nice saying which is blow before you go which is basically before the action you're doing, which is hard, Ooh, one more just for fun, blow out a little puff of air and it'll engage your core and your pelvic floor and you've got that strength and support there. Or you're, or, and you're also strengthening and supporting your core and pelvic floor, which is really nice. So we're gonna come back down to the floor with our brothers. We're gonna bring the opposite leg forward. So for me, that's the left leg. I'm gonna bring the left leg forwards tuck my back toes under and lower that back knee down. I'm going to have them sat on my left leg this time with my arm coming across the body and holding onto the opposite elbow. Nice and tall, <laughs> those squats got me. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take an inhale. As we exhale we're going to squeeze the pelvic floor muscles in and up. So just nice and slow, inhaling, exhaling to squeeze. Inhaling, exhaling to squeeze, inhaling through the nose, exhale. If you want to blowing the air out through the mouth, that's quite powerful. One more. And just bringing that knee back. And we're going to come down all the way down onto the floor now. So what you might want to do is just take your brother's blanket. Well, I'd recommend you do is take your brother's blanket, place them down by your side. And we're going to bring ourselves down nice and carefully on our sides as well. So we're going to come into bridge pose. You might want to watch, stay sat up and watch what I'm going to do to start with. So if your brother's happy there and you're happy with them there, and you happen to have one, you can grab a brick and place it between your thighs for this. Or if you want to keep Bubba on you, which is really nice as well, just roll to the side, pick them up and bring them up and sit them on your hips. So, feet are in parallel on the mat, nice and long through the spine, Bubba sitting on your hips. We're going to take an inhale and as we exhale, we're going to tilt the sit bones, lift up, lower back, mid back, upper back. Hi, talking to your bubble all the time. Inhaling here and exhaling to roll back down. Take an inhale, exhale, press down through the feet, sending the shins away from you, lifting up high and exhaling, rolling back down through the upper back, mid back, lower back. Take an inhale, exhale, rolling up. Inhaling at the top, exhaling to reverse. Twice more. Now this time if you want to, we're going to inhale as we exhale. We're going to come up exactly as we did before, but if you want to, you can stay up here for a few breaths. Just judge it on how you're feeling now. One more breath and exhaling to roll back down. Again, I'm using that breath um, from Pilates, so always moving on the exhalation, so we know we've got the core strength and support there. 
she's a really important person here for you so we're not gonna um, put our backs at risk so we're gonna lift the knees up lift Barbara a little bit further forwards and just let your knees drop over to the right hand side placing Barbara on your left hip Taking some deep breaths here, during this twist. Inhale your knees back to centre, exhale and take them the opposite way, placing Baba on the right hip this time. Bringing your knees back up to centre. And now just coming into any position that's going to be comfortable for you and Baba. So you can be seated, you can be lying down, you can be perfect as you are now, you can have Baba lying on you, you can have Baba lying next to you, whichever works for you. Just making yourself nice and comfortable, just going to spend a couple of minutes here. So start by taking three deep breaths, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> and just letting your breath come up to its natural rhythm. To where you are either softening your gaze if you feel that you're able to. Or if you're able to do so, it's safe for you and Baba closing your eyes. Gently opening the eyes. Obviously, you're always welcome to stay here in Shavasana for any relaxation if there's something you want. Bring your knees up, pressing yourself back up to seated. You haven't really got your baba up with you, maybe lifting them up and sitting them up onto your lap. And then we're going to close by singing the Namaste song. Namaste, namaste is what we say, what we say, it means peace and love to you and all your friends too. Namaste, namaste. Namaste ladies and babies, thank you for joining us today for this practice.